good to be back, of course. Um, of course, you know, there's, there's a change as well. Um, so I'm excited, uh, and the lads are as well. So um, we're, 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 we're all out there with a smile on our face and enjoying the sun. You mentioned the change. What's it like working with a new boss, and what's he like to work with? He's, he's amazing, actually. Um, I've said that a lot. It's probably the, the happiest that I've been, I think, in terms of a style of play that suits me and the lads that, and that we have in our team. Um, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a clear plan. Um, and, you know, in the, in the training and stuff, he's fully involved. Um, he coaches us a lot. Um, you know, he, he's, he's, he's big on the fan of the, the uh, details in things. Um, he's got a say, say, like certain way of playing and playing, and he, you know, is 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 he knows it's going to take a little bit of time um, because it's a it's obviously a big change. But um, you know, him him and his staff are chilled about it, and they know that um, the, and the quality is all there. Of course, you know, still got lads who are coming back as well, so um, it'll be a step up again. Sort of, you know, come in and straight away gel with, with the new man. Again, yeah, um, it's the happiest that I've been. I'd say, um, you know, it's always been a hard time. You know, I came around the team as a young lad. Um, I, I'd always had a way of play, and playing, um, and the team that I was coming around, you know, I had to adapt, I had to change. Um, but that was part of the plan. You know, it weren't anything that I couldn't do. Um, but I just feel that this now is more me. Um, I can get on the ball more, I can do me more. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. Sounds like we're going to see more of you and big, big chance to shine in it, all, if it's all coming up good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. Um, Curtis, is, it, um, is this pre season harder than you know, in terms of how, how much you work? Have you been doing double sessions and stuff? How does it compare to the last couple? It's similar, actually. Yeah, the the doubles are there, of course, and um, the singles there as well. And um, it just it depends on the and the lads and how we're feeling at times. You know, it's intense. Um, but again, you know, as I've said, there's a man who's who's, who's came in. He's got a new style of play. Um, so you know, we're 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 out there um, and we're trying to work and you know we're trying to learn his way of play and playing in his style. So. Um, I wouldn't say it's harder, it's just, it's just a big change. What's it like sort of off the training pitch as he sort of talks to you? What's it like as a person? Great, great man, he's always got a smile on his face. Um, you know, you can, you can approach him at any single time. Um, you can ask for, for, for help and he's now brought into a thing now to where we've before got a guy that we're, that we're working with as well who will be showing us our clips from training and stuff. Um, they'll be showing all the things that we're doing well, the stuff that you know we need to improve on as well. Um, so I find that a huge help as well. And also you spent a bit of time with the England squad and the preliminary squad. What was that like as an experience to be like around all them players? And does it give you a bit of a taste for wanting a bit more of that in the future? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, again, you know, I only trained. Um, I was around lads that, I, that you know, I came away from, and I knew that I'm not a a long way of away from. Um, if anything, you know, I'm 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 seeing that I'm going away with a smile on my face, and I'm thinking like I'm ready. You know, I can be around this. Um, but you know, it takes time. I know what I've got to do. You know, I've got to be in a team every week. Um, you know, I've got to improve a lot more as well. At the same time, I need to score more goals, I need to assist more, and I just need to find a consistent way of play and playing and staying and stay in a team and just try and help our team as much as I can and I know that that will come next. With you working with the manager from day one, do you see that as an opportunity to, to grab that shirt for, for Ipswich because you've proved in the past that once the shirt's on your back it's hard to get it off you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I, you know, it was another thing as well that I, I thought of. Um, obviously, you know, we were told that we're getting six weeks off. Um, but you know, I went and trained for ten days. But you know, I came back after four weeks, and I weren't expecting to have another two off. You know, I wanted to and to come back because I knew that lads were away, and I knew that lads were going to be off. So I thought, you know, if I come back and I'm, you know, and I'm there, then of course I'm under them for, and, you know, the in the first day I can take everything in as much as I can. Um, and yeah, it's what I'm doing doing now, and I just say in there, you know, I've got a chance to 
hopefully start you know the, the first game um, and I know what I need to do so that's what I'm looking for. Is he talked about the midfield working slightly differently? You've talked about it ben you feel like it benefiting in you so what sorts of changes have he's talked about for your confidence will, will give you a chance to share? Um, I feel like my I feel like my way of playing would always be a kid who wants to get on the ball and play and help the team and, 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 and be comfortable on the ball. Um, I then came around a team who, you know, have always had world class lads out on the wing, you know, front and stuff. So I feel that the centre mids were always lads who were more like runners and more disciplined, I'd say. Um, and of course, the, the principles are, of course, the same, but I feel now that. The sentiment is going to kind of be more like the the heart of the team, um, and I say that in a way. Of course, you know, Mo's always still going to get us goals and things like that. But in terms of our build up and how comfortable on 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 a, the ball and stuff, and how calm that we have to be and play more as a team, um, and it's not and we're not in a rush to attack, and we kind of just want to have the ball and just break teams down and of course then that gives us then a chance that if we give the ball away that then we can go and press. Um, I feel more in the past a bit it was kind of like a rush and you know, we get the ball back and it was a little bit too direct I'd say um, and it was like up and down up, up and down um, to where now it's going to be at the point to where like he wants us to have all the ball and just completely kill teams. Curtis, just obviously Thiago and Matic were two experienced players who moved on at the end of last season. At 23 now, do you feel as if you're ready to kind of step up and become like, more vocal and a leader in the group? Yeah. <laughs> what, what gives you that belief? Um, I've just been around the team now for a long time. Um, I, I don't see myself as a kid no more. I'm experienced. I played over 100 games with the club. You know, I played in the Champions League and the Premier League and all the cups. Um, and then, of course, there's been a big change as well. You know, on the team with lads have gone and lads have came in. So, you know, I'm probably one, one, one of the lads who have been around the first team for the longest, I'd say. Um, along with the likes, obviously, Trent, Verge and Ali and stuff. Um, you know, I came on the team when I was 17 and 18. Um, so, you know, I've been around now for long enough. So, um, I won't say I'm the most experienced in terms of all the games that I've played, um, but in terms of what I know that what this club wants and what the fans want and what this team wants as well, then yeah, I'd say. In terms of your summer, how was it when we saw you over in LA? It was LA. amazing. Oh, <laughs> 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 you met with Steve over in LA. Yeah. yeah. Was it, you met with LeBron James as well recently? That was just the other day, actually, in okay. London. Nice experience. The, um, it was different, you know, obviously it was basketball, so whole different sport but you know I say all the time that I always try and look at the elite of all the games around the world um, and he's one you know that I've listened to a lot in, 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 in podcasts I've heard about him you know how he how he how he prepares for games how professional he is how much he's inside the gym and all things like that um, and you know he, he, he's, he's known as being one of the best at, at what he does. Um, so although we play a separate sport, he's still somebody that I can learn things off. Um, so yeah, it was nice to see him play. Chris, uh, when when uh, Clark made his decision to, to leave the part, uh, how soon after that did you look at it and say, "This is a chance for me to redefine my role"? What do you mean by oh, I'm waiting? Yeah. You to establish yourself more firmly in the lineup, like you've been talking about, the, the being the eleven more, more, more regularly. I've always had that mind frame, um, even at the times when you know I'd been around Klopp since a kid, um, and I came in, and it wasn't always I was going to play games. Um, but you know, I've always had it in me that I know that the lads that are, that are ahead of me, of course, they're more experienced and they're older and stuff. But I always knew that I'd still find the edge over them um, and I've always had a self-belief in, 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 in me and I always knew that lad, that lads around me was always there to help and guard me and stuff um, so when Klopp was going it was you know it, I, I thought I'd kind of just like I was at the point where like I was playing a lot more um, and I found that our bond had become closer as well um, 
but you know, it, it was you know, it's one of them things to where it's part of the game. Um, there's changes all the time, um, and yeah, I'm happy that you know he can walk away as a legend of the club, um, and he can go and experience life now with his family and stuff. Um, and then, of course, the excitement then was a uh, guy's gonna come and come in and that. I don't think that anybody has the edge over anybody yet. It's everybody is just as a clean slate, um, and and you know that's what I thought, thought that I needed because I've come around the team as a young kid and lads had already been established and stuff. Um, so I was coming in as as a kid who who, who had a, a a job on my hands and of course I still do. But um, I just feel that now we're at the point to where everybody is equal, um, so I think the ones who show it more now are the ones who will play. Last one, back. What kind of challenges do you foresee Real Betis presenting you guys tomorrow? Just what opportunities does this friendly present for you guys to come together and gel with it as a club? Um, yeah, it'll be a good test. It'll be a good test. Um, at the same time, we don't have all our lads back as, as well, um, but that's not really an excuse. It's you know it's good to and to see the lads and and the stuff that the coaches taught us now. Um, so hopefully we we you know we can put it all as one and we can show it on the pitch.